Hi coach, good to see you again. Now it's time to explore what the pedagogical climate means for you. We are going to start from scratch. However, you may already have some experience in coaching kids. Or maybe you were coached yourself as a child. So you are not a total novice. Please use your personal experiences to complete this task. Okay, so what are we going to do? First, you are going to answer a couple of questions. Write your answers down because you may use them again later. You may want to watch the video in full and then come back to it and stop it after each question. Or you may want to start and stop as we go through it. Here come the questions. Question one. Think of the best coach you can remember. Write down what makes this, what makes this coach so special. We are looking for the characteristics of a good coach. If you don't have practical experience of coaching or being coached, you can just use your imagination to think of what makes for you a good children's coach or maybe think of a good teacher. Please take a few minutes to think this through. Did that go well? Good. Let's move on. Question 2. Please connect your experiences of previous coaches to feelings and answer this question. How did your coach make you feel like? If you have never been coached, again, maybe think about the teacher or your boss or manager at work. You may answer things like, I had a coach I liked very much because he did not yell at me. This made me feel safe and comfortable and I was not afraid to ask questions. Or you may say, I had a coach who laughed all the time and made funny jokes and this made me feel happy and cheerful. I always wanted to go to training. These characteristics of your previous coaches, teachers or managers have brought back certain feelings. That's right, you see? Coaching children, it's also about emotions. Okay, let's put some order in your list of coaches' characteristics. Rewrite the list of characteristics, but this time Put them in order of importance and explain why you ordered them in that particular way. What made you put some things above others? Now, I'm very curious about your list and how you ranked the various items. Did you say anything about having fun? The coach's disposition and ability to listen to you? Or was it more about how well the coach was able to help you progress? Maybe he knew exactly what you needed for the next step in your skills. Do you know why your coaches behaved as they did? Was it because of their natural personality or character? Or did they create a good atmosphere on purpose? Most coaches admit they are guided by intuition and they may be able to have a great impact on the sports environment doing it that way. But what if the situation turns out to be very complex? What if your intuition is wrong or non-existent? Maybe you don't think you are born with that natural instinct to just get it right. Don't worry. You can still create positive learning climates because you understand the why and the how. And this chapter will help you achieve just that. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.